Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. We got Jeremy Ford over here. Jeremy found some different Jolly Rancher sodas, kind of interesting. Um, excuse me. Um, this is the grape. Have you guys seen these? Um, naturally and artificially flavored. Um, if you've had Jolly Ranchers, then you kind of know probably what we're going to taste. Mm -hmm. Contains 0% juice, which that doesn't surprise me. Calories per bottle, 2 million. 280. <laughs> Partially produced with generic, genetic engineering. That always sounds like a science fiction movie to me. <laughs> Distributed by Elizabeth Beverage Company, LLC, Newcastle, Detroit. D-E? Mm-hmm. Or Delaware, I guess. Dela De that Delaware might be. Yeah, probably. The Jolly Rancher trademark and trade dress are used under license. Okay, well, we weren't going to try to steal it, so. All right, so. Is it got a drink by date on there? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Catrice is going to be mad if we didn't look for it. Oh, here we go. Twelve, twelve. Let me pour this out, mm -hmm. and then we'll look at it. One of my subscribers mentioned, and maybe we should start telling where the date, the the uh, <clears throat> expiration date, drink by date, best before date, is on the products, which is a good idea. Sometimes people don't know where to find them sometimes we can't find them but if we do see it it might be a nice thing to tell people where it's at and depending on if it's expired the taste could change uh, yeah true well these are just numbers well maybe 18 of 18 i don't know there's an 18 so it's a good chance this is this year. It looks like it might be. I can't see the glare. It looks That's like a number sign, almost, doesn't it? Like uh, number nine sixty one. It could be a zero seven. I don't know if it's. Oh, July eighteenth, twenty eighteen, maybe. Could be Connecticut CT. Oh wait. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. S it might the seventh of twenty eighteen. The seventh month, of July. Oh. Uh, of this year. Yeah. Okay. Because that would make sense. All right. It might be then. I don't know if that's it or not. But, but that's all we got. That's all we got to look at. So somewhere in there, there's a, it's a, there's a code. All right. Well, we have a dark, grapey look. Very carbonated drink. Um, it looks like a grape soda pop. Um, mm -hmm. It smells like a very sweet, grapey soda pop. It smells like a grape Jolly Rancher. It smells kind of like a grape Jolly Rancher. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you say so? Mm-hmm. I've had a lot of Jolly Ranchers in my time. Mm -hmm. so I know. They've been around a long time. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, let's try it. All right. Woo! That's sweet. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. It's good. Like the medium carbonation. A very sweet candy grape taste. <clears throat> like a grape Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. They got the taste spot on. It's a good imitation. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm That's good. It's almost a little bit sour on the back end. They got it so grapey. Mm-hmm. A little bit of grape skin or something. Yeah. Very good. Mm-hmm. All right, let us know if you've... <clears throat> oh, there. Let us know if you've tried it. Ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, tar... tar... tartaric... tartaric... 
acid, sodium benzoate, and that's really about it. Mm -hmm. 110 calories. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll land it there. You got any more to say about it, Jeremy? I don't think so. All right. Well, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Like I said, let us know if you've tried this Jolly Rancher soda. Pretty good. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.